Hey, what's going on YouTube family? Today I'm going to show you my settings that I'm using for Betaflight 4.5 RC2 GPS Rescue. Uh, I've been doing a few videos uh, showing how this works, so I figured I would show you my settings and then show you a little bit more footage of some of the tests I did. So, got my Reckon 5 connected up and I'm just going to go into Betaflight here and show you my settings. This is the the FPV drone I've been using to do most of my testing. So just a few things. In the ports tab, I've got my GPS set up to be a baud rate of 115,200. Uh, a lot of them seem to default to auto and I've had trouble getting lock when I'm on auto, but uh, this seems to be working really well for me. So that's what I use there. And then in the GPS tab, um, I think most of these GPSs seem to be U-Blocks. This is an M8 from HGLRC. Um, seems to be working really great. I've got some M10s, but I haven't really had a chance to test any of those yet. I leave it auto config. I do add use Galileo. I've been getting faster lock when I select, select this one. So I don't know if it really has any effect, but it, I, I think it does. So for me anyway, and then last thing well, maybe not last thing but the next thing i do is default it is set usually to drop on this tab on the uh, fail safe tab so i select gps rescue and then the next thing i do is i actually hit save and re reboot before i make any changes and come back to this tab to see that gps rescue is still selected i've had it um, gone through, make changes, done whatever, saved it, and then I come back and it's drop. And that's because for some reason, GPS in the ports tab maybe isn't set to the right port or something. So, or the GPS isn't being recognized. Um, when you don't have GPS recognized, then this setting won't stick, at least in my experience. So for these settings, I've made very minimal changes. I've, I've left them all stock except for two areas. I lowered the minimum satellites to six. It was defaulted to eight. And I also made this fail safe only. The, there was someone in my comments, one of my videos that mentioned that having this on can cause a lot of trouble. And I did a little research and uh, it seems to be true. I. I don't know because I haven't tested it and I don't really know that I want to have my drone falling out of the air any more than it does sometimes anyway. So I moved this to fail safe only and that seems to be working really well. And you can see 15 meters minimum distance uh, to home. And what's really great is unlike old beta flight when you enable your rescue GPS rescue mode. If it's within that range in the old days, it would just fall out of the sky. And now it um, it goes up and goes away from you to your set distances. And then it starts to return. And uh, I'll show you that in a minute because I've got some footage where I tested that. The last thing I do is I go to the modes tab and I go to GPS rescue. And I add that to one of my switches. So I have this on the same switch as my beeper, the three position. I Just a habit I have. I don't know actually why, but... Um, and actually, let me fix this. It's going to start beeping as soon as I save this. But um, yeah, that's that's my settings. So let's get to some video footage of me testing this out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them below. And I'll do my best to answer them and try other things if people want me to try them out. All right, let's get to the flight footage. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take off. And uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try to stay low and not get too far away and uh, we'll see what happens. So wish me luck. Uh, got eight satellites, good enough. I've armed and here we go. So I am, uh, let's give me 13, 30 feet from home. So I'm gonna turn around here in a second and kind of give you an idea of how far away I am. So I'm down there, but I'm gonna get low. Look at this, so I'm about, oh, I'm only about 30 feet off the ground. Uh, let me redo that. Get a little further away before I do that. Um, all right, so 
trying to be only about 30, 25 feet off the ground, a couple hundred feet away, and I just activated it, and it is going up to my predetermined height, and it's heading back. I'm gonna take over because I don't like that. Let me go a little further away, but also stay low. Um, so I am, I'm up, yeah, I'm about 600 feet away, but I am only about 30, about 40 feet, let me get a little lower. 30 feet, and I activated it, and look at this. It's going up to its predetermined height, and it's gonna turn and come towards us, and now it's kinda heading back. I'm not gonna let it land, because like I said, I'm in this uh, pergola. So it's trying to come back. It's a little ugly looking, but it is heading back. I'm gonna take over again. So as you can see, it works really well, and unlike the old version of GPS Rescue, it's not just dropping out of the sky. I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna get really close and uh, we'll see what happens. And I'll be low, but I'd like to be closer than three or 400 feet away, right? I have a feeling because it's so close, I'm less than 100 feet away. I activated it and it's popping up and then it's gonna turn here probably and be like, what the heck? Cause I'm right above where I took off from, but yep. All right, taking over again, cause freaking out. But yeah, that works great. I'm really shocked. So I'm gonna come in and land and we'll talk for another minute or so, or less hopefully, cause I don't wanna keep blabbering. And uh, yeah, give you my final thoughts on this. Come in and land and try not to crash or hit anything. Oh yeah, nope. Came in too fast. <laughs> Settle down. Woo. That's pretty close to my ankles. Check this out. You see where my foot is, where the quad is. Eh, it's fine. No harm, no foul. Anyway, so. I've had 4.5 uh, RC2 on here for a little while, and uh, so far, really great, at least on my Reckon 5. Uh, as you can see, I wasn't even 100 feet away and maybe 20 feet in there, and it still worked. So that's really great. I will um, kind of give a caveat. I put this on a GEP RC um, Moz 7, and it's got an M10 on it, and I've had a little bit of trouble with it, it gave me some weird twitchiness with the flying. And then um, I was flying earlier today and no RX loss or anything. It just decided to drop out of the sky. I rewatched the video and no loss of voltage, nothing weird. It just decided to fall. I never, I still had connection. I was able to turtle mode it, um, but not take off. I think it goes up next to a rock. Anyway, we'll talk about that story when I put that video up, cause there's a lot to it. So anyway, I think this is working great. And I'm really uh, feeling pretty good about it, at least on this drone. Can't speak for any of my other ones at this point. So if you have any questions, thoughts, whatever, put them down in the comments. I will respond. I try really hard to respond to everything. And if you want me to try something else, I am happy to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Happy flying. Fly safe, but also have fun. See you next time.